Hey everyone, this is Gary at Duck Coat Signs, and today I thought I'd go over a, a kind of unique pattern situation. If you're out on a job and you need a circle, and you can't draw a perfect circle, this is a great way to do it. Now usually, if you're unrolling paper, so you get this. The best way to unroll paper is to put it this way, and unroll it like this. Then you can tape the edges down, cut the paper, and the paper will stay, cut off, will stay laying down so that it's not always rolling up. It's the best way to make a pattern too so that when you put it on the vehicle or whatever you're working on, It will stay laying down so you can get it taped. Now, so let's say you need a circle a foot, one foot wide. Move it down here in this end of the six inches. You, what you can do is just keep moving this, defining your true center mark here, right now. Okay. You'll develop your own technique here. Okay, so we need a 12 inch circle. If you can't get it, cut this like so. Now one of these sides is going to look better than the other. This one here is looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is, this is going to become our circle. Take the tape off. I'm going to actually uh, cut this paper a little smaller so we can work with it a little easier. need a straight edge here even though it's just coming out pretty straight. Another way you can do it too is to tear it along like this. If you don't happen to have a razor knife, just tear it off. You can see it comes out pretty straight. down to a working size. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it on the line. Turn it around here so you can see it. Okay, this is going to be our circle size, so put an X on there, that's the one that we were really looking for. Okay, now we're going to fold it again, this way, turn it around again so you can see it. Okay, here's our X. Piece of cardboard and the pounce wheel, and we're going to pounce here. Now, one of the things to remember is not to. I'll show you when I open this up. You don't want to draw this down like this because it'll give you a point on the top of your circle. It's not a huge deal but it can affect what you're trying to accomplish. If you can make it up with uh, 
Matter of fact, we might have a little bit of a dimple right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sand the back side of that a little bit. To help uh, bring the chalk through. Good idea to change both sides when we do this. Now I sprayed this earlier so we could see. Take this and we can lay it on anywhere we want to. And just take our tape, stick it on there. This is a Hennessy uh, pouch. You can use a sock if you want a little cup ball in it. Just uh, contractors chalk. And as you can see, in a matter of moments, we can create a pretty decent circle. And we can clean it up just a little bit just by painting it, or we can just use a grease pencil and trace it around. But we have a lot better circle to follow. have a pretty decent circle. Only takes a few minutes. Now, if you had to duplicate this on the other side of a vehicle or four or five times if you're doing signs or whatever it is, you have the same circle to go by. So if you're stuck out somewhere and you don't have what you need, uh, you don't have you like your pattern or something messes up, you can create another pattern. So you draw your circle, pretty simple, pick out the quarter that you like best and just fold it, then you fold it, bounce it, open it back up and sand it both sides, lay it on where you need it, and then you can do your artwork or whatever you need to do inside that from that point on. So a real simple solution for a situation when you're out in the field, that could be a real problem. It could, could cause you to go back to the shop. So I hope this helps. And I'll see you next time on Duck Coast Signs. Hey everyone, I thought I'd give you a little history on the paper pattern. It's believed that Michelangelo created the first one. And he did it while he was working on the Sistine Chapel. Uh, he worked on it for four years from 1508 to 1512. And as he was drawing the figures on the ceiling, his perspective wasn't quite what he had anticipated. So he started drawing the figures on paper. And then he would take a single pin, not a pounce wheel. He didn't invent the pounce wheel. A single pin, and he would sit and painstakingly punch holes, little tiny holes, through this paper. And then he'd go up on his scaffolding and lay on his back put the paper on the ceiling, and he had taken some charcoal and ground it into a fine powder, put it in a rag, and he would pound it through the holes in the paper that he had created. So the next time you're making a paper pattern, think of Michelangelo, because he is accredited for making the first paper pattern. And realize that our profession has come a long ways because of the efforts of people like Michelangelo. This is Gary from Duck Cove Signs, and I'll see you next time.